you guys, um, I guess, have a host of kelp farmers that you get kelp from. And then you guys turn that kelp into fertilizer. And then folks come to you for the fertilizer. Then they use that fertilizer and they just grow some awesome crops, plow, flowers, plants, whatever, whatever. Exactly. And so that really creates a closed loop system where like, cause the soil that they're putting that fertilizer into inevitably the nitrogen and things start to leach into the soil. It gets into the water table and then gets back into the local waterways. So the, the whole magic of this system is that instead of us continuing to import these synthetic fertilizers from outside the area, flood the ground with those and then kill the water with them, the kelp farms are sucking that nitrogen up and then we're putting it back into the soil. It's leaching back into the water. The kelp farms are sucking it up. So it creates a closed loop. And that ultimately, like, you know, we're working with a lot of good scientists here too and, and folks at the university, Stony Brook University, especially Cornell University. And they're all kind of saying like, this is not a, gonna solve all the problems, but if we scale this idea up, it's gonna have a very serious beneficial impact on the nitrogen situation, which is our primary concern. And kind of a bonus of that is, is all this crazy cool growth that the gardeners and farmers are seeing that they're like, whoa, you know. What's even really cooler than all of that is this is once again, just like an old time idea like if you go back in the history books, like all throughout Europe, Africa, all over the Caribbean, everywhere you go, people had been using kelp and seaweed fertilizers, you know, out, out in the Pacific Islands, everywhere we look like, um, and you look in the deep history and you'll find like indigenous folks and, um, you know, they've all been, you see, they all knew that kelp and, and seaweeds were a very valuable source of food, medicine, and fertilizer as a way to make their crops, um, you know, stronger and grow more fruit or whatever they're trying to grow. It's like one of those cool things. It's like what's old is new again. So uh, are you guys still part of the Safe Seaweed Coalition? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We work with those guys. That's a good, uh, that's a good click. So cool to have like, you know, we work in 